We spent most of summer 2019 in Colorado, but at the end of August we headed out towards Oregon to film the Outdoors RV factory tour, and then to Nevada to film the Battleborn Battery factory tour, before returning back to Colorado. Those videos are already on our channel. On the way up to Oregon, we had time to stop at one national park unit. Today we are in Utah, north of Salt Lake City, and we are visiting Golden Spike National Historical Park. I'm Diana, and behind the camera is Matt, and we are from Adventures Way. This is unit number 35 on our journey to visit all the national park units in the United States. Golden Spike National Historical Park marks the site where the final spike was driven into the railroads to join the west coast of the Pacific and the east coast in the Atlantic together in 1869. On May 10, 1869, Two locomotives rolled into Promontory, Jupiter from the Central Pacific Railroad Company of California and locomotive number 119 from Union Pacific Railroad. Despite their historical significance, both Jupiter and number 119 were scrapped in the early 1900s for just $1,000 apiece. In 1975, O'Connor Engineering Laboratories in California were commissioned to reproduce them. Without the help of plans or blueprints, the engineers relied on an engineer's handbook from 1870 and photographs. After four years of tireless effort, the two locomotives were completed, within a quarter inch in every dimension of the originals. They were commissioned into service with water from the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans on May 10, 1979 the 110th anniversary of the original Golden Spike ceremony. These two replica locomotives can now be seen here. We timed our visit to see the locomotive demonstrations and reenactment of the last Spike ceremony. Be sure to check the National Park Service website for the schedule and latest details. We like trains anyway but seeing these two immaculately presented historical replicas was a real treat. The reenactment was lighthearted and entertaining, and even included some audience participation. It really helped us to understand the timeline of events that had led up to the monumental occasion 150 years prior.
It is, however, noteworthy that the Pacific Railway was completed six years prior to the time allotted for its construction. In attendance today, we have many uh, railroad officials who are not taking part in the ceremony. Also in attendance, we have some of our nation's finest newspaper reporters and photographers. Also, finally, let me direct your attention to our telegrapher, Mr. W.M. Schilling of the Western Union Office in Ogden. Through the miracle of electricity, Mr. Schilling is keeping the entire nation apprised of these proceedings as they transpire. One day, I'm told, this will be known as live coverage. <laughs> the last spike. On three sides, the names of railroad officials, and on the fourth side, the sentence. May God continue the unity of this country as this railroad unites the two great oceans of the world. Yes. Thank you, sir. Beautiful spot. Now has come the time for which you and the nation have been waiting, the driving for the last spot. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, sir. Very well expressed. Thank you. Good expression. Beautiful. Uh, uh, oh, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, Wadley there, Doc. Be careful. Uh, very good, very good. Well tapped, gentlemen. Now, historically, let me explain what happened. They removed the spikes from the tie and gave them back to the person or the people who brought them, and they took them back wherever. They removed the tie. The actual last spike was a common ordinary iron spike driven into a common ordinary pine tie. So the spike and the mall were wired to the telegraph so the nation could hear the blows as they transpired. Now, when the telegrapher tells me that, uh, gives a signal over the wire that the last spike has been driven, bells and steam whistles will sound out across the nation. Fire alarms will ring electrically in San Francisco, Fort Point, cannons will fire. And in Philadelphia, in Philadelphia, perhaps the Liberty Bell will ring again. Dr. Grant? You can do any better there, Dr. Uh, I'm not sure I can uh, do... you see three of them, hit the one in the middle, Doc. Oh, yeah, yeah, represent the UP. Come on. Oh, oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh. Let's get a railroad man out here. Yeah. I hope no one remembers this in oh, 150 I mean, years. That'd be embarrassing. Ladies and gentlemen, henceforth, there is but one Pacific Railroad of the United States of America. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. President, the last rail is laid, the last spike is driven, the Pacific Railroad is complete to a junction of 1,086 miles. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! At that moment, one era ended and another began. The golden spike became a symbol of hope for a better way of life, with new challenges yet to be conquered. We thank you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for being with us today, and have a safe journey wherever you might go. We finished our visit with the drive of the West Grade Auto Tour that took us along the historical railroad grade. This road is not suitable for RVs or vehicles pulling a trailer. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more videos. In the next video, we'll be back in Colorado with another National Park unit. Just in the bike. Yeah.